So, apparently the Pokemon Company messed up. If you haven't heard by now, apparently these new chests with six booster packs, the 20 or fall 2023 uh, collector chests, kind of a tin, apparently have a chance at having a god pack of Silver Tempest, or actually both packs of Silver Tempest on the inside. So, quick recap, all six, or there are six booster, booster packs in here, two Paldea Evolved, two Scarlet Violet Base, and two Silver Tempest. As far as I know, every single one of these tins has that. The one difference is, apparently some pin, print runs of these this chest have Silver Tempest actually as booster packs with only ultra rares or better. And there's still a chance to get a double hit in the reverse hollow spot with a Radiant or Gallery card. So, what we have today, we have four total of these chests that we're going to open and see if we can find one. I apparently have already opened one on this channel, actually. The time I opened this chest for the first time, both Silver Tempest packs had white code cards, but both had ultra rares. So I am certain that was actually one. But we are going to be opening two chests from the Smoke and Mirror shop that I bought for $18 each and two of the chests from Game Nerds, so GN and SM, Game Nerds that I bought for $22.50 each. So, got two of each. Game Nerds is actually the one I pre-ordered from and opened the original one. So I'm going to save that one for a second. We're going to open one Smoke and Mirror first, then one Game Nerds, and then the second Smoke and Mirror and second Game Nerds. And we will not bother about going through all of the common and uncommon cards. It'll be a moderately quick video here. We're just looking at the packs. And I will give you guys a quick close-up, I suppose, especially of this particular part, although every single thing on here, I've already looked over it, is the exact same. There is no actual way to tell. This is B23. No way to tell what uh, print run or anything has what packs. But there we go. That's all we need for this one. We will get everything else off to the side because we do not need it. We're going to open all the packs, so... Silver Tempest, we're going to save that for last just to save it, to hype it up a little bit. And I'm hoping at least one of these stores, thankfully, will have sent me some of the God Pack cards. Although, there we go. Um, starting off with an IR card of Saguaro for our Paldea Evolve. So there we go. A very good start. I will try to give most of the code cards away. I'll save a couple for myself, but there we go. <laughs> um, these print runs, apparently it does not matter what you get. There we go, another hit from Paldea Evolved. What you get from the Scarlet and Violet packs, whoops, Base Set or, let's open this one quick, Base Set or Paldea Evolved, the Silver Tempest packs, um, pulls don't correlate. Either way, here we go, nothing in that one. Here's that one I dropped on the floor. Maybe this one has something. Although, hitting two hits from Paldea Evolved already is pretty solid. So, here we go. Nothing there from that. Now, for the two Silver Tempest ones. We will go through these just a little bit slower. And it is nothing. So, this is the Smoke and Mirror box that we are opening first. And not too surprising. And nothing from that one, but it was actually not a bad box. So there we go. This is what we get from uh, our chest number one, two IR cards, one of them the special one. So I will keep those off to the side in a pile for box number one. I'll have to go through all that later. But here we go. Now we have the big moment of truth. This is Game Nerds, and I have... Uh, bought some this chest already from them before and did confirm essentially because I had two of them and both of them had the special god packs of Silver Tempest. Here is all of that for this cardboard cutout. Of course, it looks exactly the same to me. I cannot find a single difference as the other Smoke and Mirror one or any other one I've purchased. All of them. I've, ha I've gotten about 10 of these chests through my hands the past three weeks or so. And as far as I know, all of them look the exact same. So, either way, here we go again. Paldea Evolved first. 
And either way, about $20 or so for one of these chests is still very good. And wow, look, Paldea Evolved doing really good to us. We got a full art EX Ting Lu. So at the very least, even if we're not getting our God Packs, we're at least filling out the binder for Paldea Evolved. And so let's see, try to go through these next boxes pretty quickly. And there we go, another one, a Fletchender uh, illustration rare. Now we got our Scarlet and Violet. I'm definitely looking like Scarlet and Violet base set is going to be looked upon as a not too favorable set. Although, by the time it is five years old, everyone seems to forget about what was a good set and what was not a good set. That's just what happens. They're professor research. So, now the moment of truth. We are going to go through this one a little slower because this is what I'm really hoping has something for us. And actually, it has a white code card, which the code card colors does not matter for Silver Tempest. So let's go through it slow. I'm really hoping we got something in the back there. And if we do, that pretty much confirms that this is one of the God boxes and packs, since it was a white code card, which does ha happen often, but not extremely often. So, Radiant Alakazam, that is a very good start, as Radiants are apparently very common to pull in these God Packs. And there we go, Alolan Volpix V. So, let's open this second one and find out if there is anything in it. Give you guys that code card, and it is a white one again, so white code card. So far it seems like all of them are white code cards, at least the majority of all of them. And I do see silvering in the back there, which means we've got another hit. So I think we've got ourselves a very, very good god pack here, and means the other ones from Game Nerds that I bought probably also are as well. Chinchow, Gardevoir Reverse, not bad, and a Lugia V-Star, nice. So there we go. So, that uh, one was an exceptional box. Make sure I get everything out here to show you. And there we go. We found the God Boxes. And yes, they did come from the online store Game Nerds. Of course, when this video goes up, this has been already discovered about three weeks ago, this entire uh, thing with the God Packs. So, if Game Nerds still has stock, maybe buy a box or two. They're a very, very great store I would recommend. I buy a lot of pre-orders from them, but here we go. We got Radiant Alakazam, Alolan Vulpix V, and Lugia V-Star from just the two packs of Silver Tempest in that tin. And then we also got a Fletchender and Full Art as well. So, there we go. Now, we also have one more Game Nerds that we are going to open. But just to see, we do have the second one from Smoke and Mirror. Just to confirm it, you never know if they hypothetically sent us tins or chests from two different cases. But as far as we know, here's a quick look at this. As far as we know, if one chest in the case has these so-called God Packs, B23 again, then all of the tins in the case do. So, if you do happen to have a sealed case of nine of these, and you open one and you believe it is a God Pack, based on everything you see, and you pull two... two uh, Two good hits from Silver Tempest, then you most likely have an entire case of Silver Tempest Ultra Rare Pack. So, let's go through this really quickly. Last one from Smoke and Mirror. And then we will open what is presumably another God Tin from our Game Nerds supplier. We'll say after recording this, I'll probably order just a handful more from them. There we go, we got a Sandy Guest. And there is a code card. So, I will say Paldea Evolved. Man, given us some nice hits. Scarlet and Violet still has not given us a single one yet. But that's all right. Here we go. Next pack. Nest Ball, good. Penny uh, Special Illustration Rare. There we go. Not bad for Scarlet Violet Base. Still need that Maridon Special Illustration. But here we go, code card upside down. Hopefully that was in focus. If not, it gives you guys a challenge and nothing in that one. But Silver Tempest, here we go. Two more of these. 
And nothing. Right you reverse. There is the code card. And a Lugia pack art. Man, that one just completely ripped. It is a black code card, which is good though, because this is not a god pack, so if it was white, it probably wouldn't have had anything. We've got Fampi Litten Reverse. It is actually a Trainer Gallery Rayhan. Very nice guy. And just a hollow crocodile. So not too bad right there. We actually got our three hits from that one. A Penny Ill Special Illustration Rare from Scarlet Fire Base, Palde Evolved, Sandy Gast Illustration Rare, and Trainer Gallery Rayhan. So there we go. Another three hits to count for this opening. And it's going on a little longer than I was thinking, but we did have to go a little slower because we did find ourselves the God Packs. And I guess before I open it, I'll show you guys a quick look at this Game Nerds uh, chest since it is essentially confirmed to have the God Packs in it. And the only difference, I will say, if you've watched it this far, the only difference in these chests that I've seen between Game Nerds and Smoke and Mirror is that the Game Nerds one, the plastic flap at the top right here, is a little longer and a little more loose. And the uh, Smoke and Mirrors ones, I believe it was a little cleaner on here. Or actually, maybe the Game Nerds was a little cleaner. I think the no, Smoke and Mirror one was cleaner. But either way, this is a quick look at it. If you can hypothetically find any differences. And of course, as always, it is just the B23 chest for the year 23. And it's the second collector's chest variant. Of course, we had, we had the spring one to release, and now this is the fall one, which is why it is B. And here we go. Let's go through these really quickly, and hopefully I'll have a couple more openings of these God Packs for us to open in the future. First pack, and there we go, another hit. Uh, Chin Yu for our Palde Evolved. Man, Palde Evolved really being nice, nice to us today. And I will gladly take that. Next pack has nothing. Actually, I don't know, I was almost going to say, I thought they had, I saw somehow three reverse hollows, but definitely saw that wrong. Next booster pack, Scarlet Violet Base. Does not have anything. Code card. All right, last one before our Silver Tempest and the end of this video. Here we go. And there we go. Arvin full art actually from the main set. So before the Silver Tempest, we did get two hits actually. So a very good odds from that. Now here we go. We'll go through these ones a little slower because you never know. They might have a Lugia alt art or something. Code card. And actually... Just to confirm, this should be the same code card, I believe. It is white, and it should have an ultra rare in the back. All right, here we go. We got all of these common uncommons that we don't care about, and the reverse is going to be maybe a Radiant. It is a Radiant to Cerna, so there we go. Good start, and a Regilecki VMAX. Not bad. This is actually a very playable card. I'm not sure if it's still playable, but it shot up to almost $20 a card for a small, short portion there. And actually, this is a black code card, so let's see if that has any difference to what this pack entails. I would highly doubt it. Should still get something um, good, of course, because black code cards for the Sword and Shield era are, of course, supposed to have an ultra or a hollow or better regardless. But final pack here, we have a very off-center Pissimian for a trainer gallery, so another thing we got, and a regular unknown V. But there we go, two booster packs, and we got four hits. This is what we're talking about with these Silver Tempest super, super amazing god packs, or whatever you want to call it. But these did come from Game Nerds, so if they have any stock, might as well open a, a tin or two from them for $22, good price for six packs regardless so thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time hopefully you've gotten one of these chests open yourself and they are really fun so thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time